spicy jam in our rice cooker today. Use about a pound of raspberries or your favorite fruit in the rice cooker. Keep in mind, raspberries are really tart, so add the sugar depending on your preference. Add in your favorite sugar. I happen to use coconut palm sugar for its caramel flavor. Brown sugar and honey are great options too. Place in the rice cooker. Cook on the regular white rice cycle for one time. After it's finished, add in your chia seeds and more sugar if you find it's too tart. I like to smooth my jam with a blender, so the chia seeds aren't so obvious. Chia seeds make the fruit quite thick and healthy. You could also add some flaxseed powder here, but I didn't because I felt it added too much texture. After it has been cooled, place in your favorite container. We used a small mason jar. It's very simple and flavorful. We use it every day for many different things. I was tired of buying jam for my grocery store since it's so difficult to find a simple one without a lot of additives. I wanted to add chia seeds to give it a healthy boost as well. Ollie loves tarts fruits, so we used raspberries. Blueberries would also be an amazing jam. Here are our favorite ways to enjoy our chia seed jam. You can take a spoonful of your jam and add to club soda for a refreshing drink. You could also add it to your favorite smoothies as well. For afternoon tea, Ollie loves to have Hokkaido milk toast with jam. Sometimes he also asks for jam and almond butter. The possibilities are endless. Here are more suggestions for you to enjoy your jam. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you have any questions, comments, or recipe suggestions, leave them in the box below. Be sure to subscribe for new recipes and share if you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.